Ah, summer. The sun, the beach, and so many wonderful seasonal animes that are coming out. How's it going, everybody? It's Hog Ninja 101 here, and I know it's been a good long while since the last time I made one of these top seasonal anime lists. The reason being was because there weren't that many animes that had caught my attention from the last time I've done one of these. But, just like the title says, I have found four anime series that I believe you should check out during the summer. With that said, as a reminder, this is a top four anime list of my own choosing. So if you do not see your favorite anime from Summer 2018 on here, then why not leave the title and a brief summary of the series down in the comment section. Also, I will be listing the anime that I have watched from previous seasons in a special honorable mentions list later on in the video. Now with that out of the way, let's dive into my top 4 anime of Summer 2018. Number 4. Seven Senses of the Reunion In the global phenomenon virtual reality game known as Union, one guild within the game known as Subaru stood above all others in the world of Union. That is, until one tragic day, where they lost one of their own during a quest gone wrong. Not only did their friend die in the game, they also died in real life as well, which resulted in the immediate disbanding of Guild Subaru. After a six year hiatus from the game, Guild Subaru's former leader, Haruto, is invited by his friends to participate in a relaunch of the game, which is now called Reunion. After arriving in an unknown area within the game, Harto finds himself face to face with his former partner and childhood friend Asahi, who was the one that had tragically passed away six years earlier within the game. Harto, Asahi, and the other members of Guild Subaru shall once again band together and uncover the mystery surrounding Asahi's sudden return within the game. Now, from what I've seen in the first few episodes that came out, and from what other people have noticed about the series, is that this anime is like a crossover between Sword Art Online and Anohana, where the main characters are reunited with a deceased friend within a virtual reality video game. What has intrigued me with this series is the mystery of Asahi's sudden return to life within Reunion. I want to know why did they make Asahi wait six years within virtual reality just to bring her back when the game relaunched. Now my biggest gripe with this series is the SAO vibes that it gives off from how the players use similar technologies in order to access the games to, um, to Asahi's situation where after she supposedly died in the game she died in real life. As these aspects and some other personal feelings is the reason why I place Seven Senses of the Reunion so low on my list. Maybe after some time has passed and more of the story is revealed, I might bump this anime a bit higher on the list. But until then, I'm giving Seven Senses of the Reunion 2.5 Chili Dogs out of 5. Meaning, if you want to check it out, or if you're a fan of SAO or Anohana, then this series might be just for you. But personally, I do feel that there are other series out there that could take priority over this one for the time being. Well, with that taken care of, let's move on to the next title on this list. Number 3. Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs Coming up at number 3 is Fan Service, the anime. I mean Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs. The synopsis of the anime follows series protagonist Kogorashi Fuyuzora? I really hope I'm not butchering the name. After spending most of his childhood being possessed by spirits, Kogarashi has trained to become a psychic in order to exercise any spirit that may come his way. After spending months wandering the countryside, Kogarashi has finally found a new place where he can call home. A boarding house with cheap rates that's located in the middle of a hot spring village known as Yuragi Inn. After hearing about how the inn is haunted by a ghost, Kogarashi tracks down the spirit in order to exercise it from Yuragi Inn only to find out that the spirit is the titular and beautiful Yuna Yunohana. Unable to exercise Yuna, as she being a girl, and Kogarashi's only means of exercising spirits is punching them with great force. Kogarashi not only befriends Yuna, but finds out that he is now her new roommate in Yuragi Inn. Zany and hilarious adventures follows the pair alongside the other tenants as Kogarashi tries to survive day-to-day -day life at Yuragi Inn. 
Now this is one of those series where the main male lead finds himself living with a plethora of girls ranging from a spirit to a ninja, a humanoid ogre, some type of goddess of fortune, and yes, even a cat girl. And because he is the only guy living amongst all these women, he finds himself in a lot of misunderstandings and usually gets clobbered, beaten, and pummeled while also being thrown out of windows because of these misunderstandings. Now, when I say this is a fan service series, I meant it. Even before the series had launched, it came out with a not-so-safe-for-work OVA. Thankfully, though, the series is much more tame than its more risque OVA counterpart. However, that isn't saying much. But anyway, I know that a lot of anime fans aren't too interested in these fan service heavy series, and that's perfectly fine. I personally enjoy the lighthearted and comedic aspects of the series, though the cliche misunderstandings tend to get overly drawn. Regardless, however, I personally give Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs 2.5 to 3 chili dogs out of 5. <clears throat> A, if you get the chance to check out the series, then consider doing so rating. And that is why this anime is number 3 on this list. Number 2. How not to summon a demon lord. Question. What would you do if you found yourself magically teleported into your favorite video game? While one day playing his favorite video game, Cross Riviere, I do apologize if I butcher the name, Socially awkward and self-proclaimed shut-in gamer Takuma Sakamoto is suddenly whisked away into the world of Cross Riviere where he is met by an elven girl named Shira and a pantherian named Rem. The two girls attempt to cast a servant spell on Takuma upon his arrival, but because he entered the world of Cross Riviere as his in-game avatar, Diablo, and inherited all of his character's strengths and abilities, Takuma was able to easily reflect the girl's servant spells and inadvertently make them become his servants instead. Now trapped in the world of his favorite video game, Takuma now seeks not only a way to bring him back to his original world, but of how he can remove the forced servitude from Shira and Rem, while also helping them overcome each of their own personal problems as well. Now what I enjoy about this series is that even though the main character Takuma says that he's an awkward shut-in gamer, I like how his humanity is shown at its best whenever he's consulting with the girls about their problems. And without giving too much away, let's just say that one of the girls' problems could become a major driving force later, um, later on in the series. Another point I need to make about this series is yes, it is another fan service anime. But unlike the previously listed series, this show is more tamed and the fan series is clearly not the main focus of the series. Even the uncensored versions of the anime, which I have only watched in the name of science, are far more safe for work than Yuna and the Hot Springs OVA. So far. I personally give How Not to Summon a Demon Lord 3.5 to 4 Chili Dogs out of 5. A near must watch recommended rank series from the Warrior of Light. And that is why How Not to Summon a Demon Lord is ranked number two on this list. Honorable Mentions. Now, in this list, I will be recommending anime titles that have already aired in any previous seasons leading up to summer 2018. I will be giving a quick synopsis of each series as well as my own thoughts about them as well. Remember, the only reason why these titles are here and not on the main list is because they're not bad, it's only because they aired during different seasons prior to Summer 2018. Otherwise, this whole list would have been completely different than these titles. Honorable Mention Number 4, Recovery of an MMO Junkie. The story follows Moriko Morika, a successful 30-year-old career woman whom has officially retired from her work so that she can finally devote her time on her favorite hobby, online role-playing games. What I like about this anime is even though the main focus of the series is gaming, the series slowly evolves into a love story. My biggest gripes with this anime though is how predictable the mysteries were that they were trying to incorporate um, throughout the show. 
Not to mention how little screen time the supporting cast members received once the story began to focus more on the romance aspects. I gave Recovery of an MMO Junkie two and a half chili dogs out of five. Honorable mention number three, Miss Koizumi Loves Ramen. We finally found a character who can challenge Hinata for her title of Queen of Gluttony. The series follows Miss Koizumi and her endless pursuit of ramen, while also dealing with the usual high school hijinks that you'd expect from an anime series as well. Now, what I liked about this series is that you get to learn a lot about one of Japan's most famous cuisines. From its origins, to how modern day technologies have changed the way we prepare this succulent morsel. I give Miss Koizumi Loves Ramen 3 chili dogs out of 5. Oh, before I move on, quick tip for you if you want to watch this show. It will make you hungry. So having snacks at the ready is a must before you dive into this delicious bowl of ramen. Honorable mention number 2. SAO Alternative Gun Gale Online. Because of her insecurities regarding her abnormal height, Karen Kohirurimaki, and I know I butchered that last name and I apologize, seeks to escape this complex within virtual reality. After many trials and tribulation, Karen finds herself within the post-apocalyptic wastelands of Gun Gale Online, where she becomes her in-game avatar, Lin, a small petite female gunman who fights the game's varying enemies with superhuman speed and with her trusted P90 submachine gun, Pichan. After getting wrapped up with the series antagonist, Pitohui, and I know I butchered that name again, I apologize, Karen is suddenly put into a similar game of life and death, much like another SAO protagonist finds themselves on a regular basis. What I like about this series is the action and combat scenes are incredible, probably the best and most brutal that I've seen from an SAO anime. And though the mysteries that follow the series can be easily deduced, they're still kind of fun to follow. I give SAO alternative Gun Gale Online, oh, what a mouthful, three and a half to four chili dogs out of five. Honorable mention number one, Skill Trickster Takagi. In a genre that is overly saturated with more tsundere's than Taiga Isaka can Shabaka, skilled trickster Takagi is what I believe is a much needed breath of fresh air for the romance genre of anime. Though Takagi does tease and torment series male protagonist Nishikata, she doesn't go as overboard with her antics like a lot of other leading female characters would towards their crush. The series has a nice mellow setting that a lot of people can find relaxing. Though the show may have ended after this previous winter season, fans all over rejoice as the studio that brought us Takagi have released a special summer themed OVA ep episode just a few short weeks ago. Like I have said at the beginning of the honorable mentions list, the only reason why none of these titles made it onto the top summer list is because they released at different times prior to summer 2018. Had they aired during the summer, not only would they have made my top summer list a bit bigger, but the results of it would have also changed as well. For that reason, I give skilled trickster Takagi a perfect 5 out of 5 chili dogs. And that is why this anime has reached the number one spot on my top honors list. And now, the moment has finally arrived. Sonic Ninja 101's number one anime for summer 2018. Number 1. High Score Girl Set in the prime of the arcade scene during the 90s in Japan, Haruo Yaguchi doesn't have a lot going on for him in either academics or in athletics. However, if there's anything that he will claim to be good at, it's video games, particularly a little arcade cabinet known as Street Fighter 2. One day, while knocking down any opponent that came his way, Haro meets his match in the form of his class's most popular student, Akira Ono. Shocked at his defeat to Akira, Haruo vows to defeat her in Street Fighter 2. But what he doesn't realize is that this is only the beginning of a chance encounter between him and Akira. 
Now, the reason why I placed High Score Girl as the number one spot on my list is because not only do I love the nostalgia of um, getting to see so many classic arcade games within this series, but I also love seeing the relationship between Haruo and Akira grow. In a few ways, I actually do see a little bit of myself in each of them. For Haruo, we can all relate into wanting to play video games over doing schoolwork. And though not too many of us can say we had the same luck as Akira and were born with a silver spoon in our mouths, we can all relate to her about wanting to play video games as a means to unwind and blow off steam whenever the stresses of life became too much to bear. Akira shows us that even though she was born into an aristocratic family, she's just like the rest of us where she only wants to have fun while playing video games as well. It's because of these reasons is why I give High Score Girl a rating of 4 to 4.5 four chili dogs out of 5, and that is why High Score Girl takes the number one spot on my top summer anime list. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes it for my list of anime that I am watching throughout the summer. What do you all think? Are there any anime titles that you are watching this season and that didn't make it onto the list? If so, then why not leave them in the comment section so everyone can give them a shot when they are able to. Anyways, guys and gals, that's going to conclude it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit that like button faster than the speed of sound. And if you haven't yet, then why not subscribe to the channel as well? It would be greatly appreciated. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook page so that way you guys can stay up to date with your favorite ninja as well. There's a link to it down in the description. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, a chili dog a day keeps the Eggman away. I love and God bless y'all, and I hope to see all of you guys again in our next adventure. Bye!